Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will talk about fast API and how to code a simple REST API based blog application. And in the later part, we'll see how to persist data using SQLite database and SQL Alchemy ORM. If you landed here, the chances are that you already know what fast API is. Still, if you don't know, a fast API is a new web framework for Python that focuses on minimal code for rapid API first development. Now without wasting your time, let me walk through the application so you have a concise idea as to what we will be building. Also keep in mind that I will use Postman to test our API endpoints. You are free to use whatever suits you. It can be curl, it can be HTTP or even Python requests module. But in my opinion, Postman is a very elegant solution. Here we have two endpoints where one is used to fetch all the posts that are in the database. And the other endpoint is where you can query an individual post using an ID. Here in this case, we have one, as you can see. We will also use first endpoint to create a post using a post request. If you don't know what uh, these uh, HTTP requests are, I recommend you to search them uh, in the MDN docs. Uh, I'll link them in the description below. Let me show you the first endpoint which will query all the posts uh, that are present in the database. So this is that request. Uh, we will be using get request. Now before doing that, let me start the ubicon server. There we go. It will take some time to boot and we have our server ready. When I fire the request or when I do the request, it will give me whatever is there in the database as you can see i only have one post id1 title is hello world of course the first thing when you do anything in programming it should be hello world and if you notice it's a list it will be a list of all the posts that are present in the database now we have our id with us now if i want an individual post i will do post uh, sorry get request with that particular id in this case it's one so when i do get request on this endpoint remember this is our second endpoint it will give us that particular post only now if you remember we also had a kind of third endpoint it's actually the same as the first one uh, if you notice the url it's the same one but instead of get request we are using post uh, request again uh, if you don't know what HTTP methods are uh, let me summarize quickly so get requests are used to you know fetch contents of the database whereas post is used to send content to the database I hope that makes sense let us create a second post using aptly named post HTTP request remember we'll be using JSON because we are dealing with REST APIs so here we go so we have two values we have title so this is my second post and along with that we'll also pass body how are you doing it can be anything all right and there will be comma there when i fire the post request with the given parameters that is title and body it will give something back and what did it give us back it gave whatever we put as title and body uh, it also gave us id at which position this particular post is there in the database so here we have id now let me query the this uh, url that is the list all the posts in the database url and when i do that of course uh, there are now two posts in the database so first one is your hello world and the second one is whatever we have just created right now now if i want to query the second post individually what i'll do is that i will replace this one with two that is our id of the post that we just created and i'll again send the request and if you notice here it will change accordingly and voila it changed to the whatever data we passed in this case id2 and it went to the server 
it asked the server that okay just get me whatever post is there with id2 database gave it to fast api and fast api gave it as this json response so this will be our application and now we shall start coding i hope you'll enjoy it okay thank you